Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create send Firebase push notification form in the React project of the admin. So let's get started. As you can see, the app.js. So first of all, I'm going to create the static form where we have a different inputs like title, body, FCM token and the submit button. So first of all, I'm going to add here the main div with the class Firebase form. After this, we have a bootstrap class that is a padding four. And the third we have container. Inside this, we have a h1 tag with the caption Firebase push notification. That is the title of our form. Inside this, we have a div with the class row. As you can see, inside the div of the row, I'm going to add the div where we have an input for the title as you can see the input for the title as you can see the import of the floating label and the form from the red bootstrap after this we have an input for the body as you can see the input where we have a label that is a body after the body input i am going to add here the input for the fcm token as you can see the input for the fcm token at the last we have a button with the caption send as you can see the button let me add here the caption of the button that is a send. After this, let's go to the app.css and here I'm going to add the styling properties for our Firebase form. As you can see, the styling properties for the Firebase form. And you can see here the HTML code of the Firebase push notification form. Let's navigate to the browser. As you can see the form where we have a different inputs like title, body, FCM token and the button to submit this form. So let's go back to the VS code and I'm going to make this form functional. So let me create here the use state for the title, body and the FCM token. So the first we have title, set title. It will be a from use state that is by default null. Let me duplicate these lines. Second we have body that is a set body. That is by default null. Let me be here the spelling of the title. At the last, we have FCM token. That is also by default null. After this, I'm going to create a method with the name handle push notification. So it will be a const handle push notification. It will be a async side the argument. It will get an event inside this method. I'm going to add this that is a e dot prevent default. This thing will not reload the form while submitting. For this, I'm going to add the console.log to print the form values in the console. So first I'm going to print the title, second body, third we have FCM token. We have to call this method on the click event. So let me add here the event that we have on click. Where we have to call this method that is a handle push notification. Let me create another state for the loading. And it will be a set loading that is by default false. Before submitting the form, I'm going to set the value of the loading true. And after the successful submission of the form, then we have to set the value false of the loading. So we have to disable the button until if the loading has the true value. And here I'm going to update the caption of the button when the loading has the true value. So we have to check here the loading. If the loading has true value, then we have to show the caption that is a sending. Otherwise, we have to show send. After this, we have to bind these inputs with the states. So let me use here the property that is a value. We have to bind this input with the use state that is a title. After this, we have a on change event where we have to set the value of the title on the every click of the button so it will be a set title inside the argument we have to pass e dot target dot value let me copy this let me add on the input of the body so we have to bind this with the body state and it will be a set body at the last we have fcm token so we have to bind this with the fcm token and we have to set here the FCM token. Now you can take a look of the app.js.
let's go back to the browser. Let me open here the inspect. As you can see, we are getting the warning in the console. So let's fix this. Let's go back to the VS code and I'm going to edit the empty codes on the place of the result. Let's save this. Let's go back to the browser. As you can see, warning removed. Now I'm going to fill the form with the title, body, and the FCM token like the term string. Let's click on the send button. As you can see, we are getting the values of the form with the title, body, and the FCM token. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can document. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.